If you've never been to Faith Bridges 4th of July, you're really missing out because it's an event that's really like no other. And every year we've seen our volunteers grow and we've seen our numbers from the community grow. We started off at 3,000 folks coming onto our campus, which was more than triple our campus size at that time. And now we're estimating um, between eight and 9,000. Uh, the reason that we do it is just an outreach uh, to the community, to Spring, Woodlands, Tomball. Uh, people come from all around. We've seen so many folks come to Faith Bridge for the first time at the fireworks event, celebrate freedom, and then they start coming. My name is Tim Clapp. I've been a member, well, been a member of Faith Bridge for about three years. Our initial visit was during the Fourth of July celebration. Our grandsons had come down from Alaska. We were new to the area. Some of the customers at the retail place that I worked said that there was a great Fourth of July celebration at Faith Bridge. Uh, for me personally, I thought, this is really novel. Fourth of July from a church, that's not something that, uh, that in my experience was common. The most amazing part of it was the fact that everyone we saw was grinning. People looked like they were just having a good time, and, and I was pretty surprised by the entire situation. We need hundreds, literally hundreds of Faith Bridgers uh, to roll up their sleeves and go to work to serve the community at this July 4th event. One of the great things about getting to serve in the event is being Christ's conduit to others. There's talking about Jesus. Here you get to be the hands and feet of Jesus. We've had the opportunity to get involved in a few things. We hope to get involved in a few more before, before it's all said and done. I felt more joy serving and being here at the 4th of July than I felt attending the 4th of July as just a, a stranger. Uh, many of us don't have a chance to interact with people in our community uh, from different backgrounds or from different economic backgrounds and this provides a chance for us all be in the same place at the same table and they come they have a very positive experience. We're going to be one of the places that they think about uh, and they might try and if you try us on a Sunday in earnest you're going to see that the gospel here is here and alive and it's even better than the 4th of July.